For many, the song Get Your Kicks on Route 66 brings people back to a nostalgic time in America. Due to the interstate bypass years ago, Route 66 is losing some of its Americana culture. However, in the community of Tucumcari, New Mexico, the people are striving to bring back the iconic and vintage identity with the inaugural Rockin' Route 66 Festival. Once a major stop along the Route 66 highway, Tucumcari has looked to attract those seeking a taste of 1940s and 50s America. This year, a production company based out of Georgia has taken part in the festival by helping to organize the event and making sure all of Tucumcari is recognized. The city actually approached us. We've been involved in other festivals here locally over the years, and we created this festival to really celebrate uh, the custom culture, Route 66, all the Americana history that's involved. And, uh, and of course, Tucumcari is the heart of Route 66, so what better place to celebrate it than right here in Tucumcari. Brian also said the event has been in the making for over a year and explains how the festival has impacted the local businesses in the area. We have uh, creatively, strategically laid out specific parts of the event to include like the Odeon Theater, one of the longest running uh, movie theaters in New Mexico. We have a cruise and American Graffiti is going to be playing. We've done uh, live music at many of the restaurants and again just to get people out and about in different areas um, so they can experience more of of true nostalgic, a heartbeat of, of, uh, of Route 66 and uh, share the, the love inside the local community. Local business owners of Watson's Barbecue and Tucumcari Ranch Supply believe the event can positively impact local businesses by bringing people to the community who might not have stopped by if it wasn't for the festival. Really showcase the whole town instead of just going to the convention center and it, it you know, they find us. They know we're here. We're about three or four blocks off of I-40, you know, Route 66 and we got to beat our drum a little louder than anybody else to get them to get off that highway and come down here and see us. So this really helps us and, and, it, and it makes repeat people, you know, come back. And that's what we, we really like, is when they come in and smile at you and you know they've been here before and you hadn't seen them in a year and they're turning into friends, you know. Tucumcari's history includes a wide array of motels to provide housing and hospitality while traveling along Route 66. One of the iconic motels of Tucumcari has recently been renovated and brought back to its original charm thanks to owner Larry Smith. It opened in 1959 when uh, Route 66 was really hitting its heyday. A lot of travelers, there was a need for more and more motels up and down um, uh, Route 66 from Chicago to L.A. And Tucumcari had become a, a big stop for a lot of folks because of its uh, being the halfway, kind of a, uh, a good stop between Amarillo and Albuquerque. The festival also included a pinup contest to throw back the style scene during the Americana heyday. Pinup models from across the country travel to Tucumcari to join in the festivities. We love it. We've been having a great time. So much fun already and more fun to come. Uh, we've been dancing, tearing up a run on the dance floor to all the awesome bands and checking out the town, all the awesome sights to see, the hotels, motels, and uh, cool diners and all that sort of stuff. Route 66 may be a relic of Americana history, but Tiffin Carrie, New Mexico is making sure the culture is never forgotten. For News 3 New Mexico, I'm Landry Wideman.